Hey everybody, my name is Jason and welcome to another Babylon video. Today we're going to dive even deeper into the pirate fort. Today I'm super pumped because I get to show you how easy it is to add sound effects to your Babylon experiences. So easy in fact that it's just two lines of code. It could actually just be one line of code, but for this demo I want to use two. So without any further ado, let's dive right on in. Here's our scene, and if you listen, this is what we've added into each cannon blast. Boom! There it is, that awesome, deep cannon blast sound. And so let me show you how incredibly easy it is to do this. If you remember in our last video, we went over how to add uh, particle systems into your scene and clone them, and you add them from the particle uh, snippet server. And so right underneath that code here, I have a new line of code that is create a variable called cannon blast sound, and then new Babylon dot sound, and then you give it a name, and then you give it your file location, your URL, attach it to the scene, and that's it. It's good to go. You're ready to play it. And so in fact, my second second line of code is, hey, whenever I do that check to determine if I'm inside, if a, if a mesh that's been selected has a metadata tag of canon, I've wrapped it inside of that. So if true, if you've clicked something that has metadata of canon, also fire the sound effect. That's it. It's that simple. And you get this awesome, boom, super, super deep canon sound. Okay, now remember, we're just barely scratching the surface with that. There is so much more that you can dive into with the sound effects in Babylon, including helpers that allow you to set up spatial sound. And let me show you how easy that is. It's so simple, I can just do this. I can take my variable called cannon blast sound, and there it is. I can say dot spatial sound equals true. It's that easy. Now it's set up for spatial audio for like say a VR or an augmented reality experience. That is awesome and there's so much more that you can do with it. Okay, now I don't want the video to be quite that short so there's one other thing I'm gonna show you which is, let's call it an experience bug that I've gone in and solved in this demo, in this version. In previous versions you might notice that if I click on a cannon multiple times really fast I can actually fire the particle effect a lot really, really fast. And I don't want that to happen. I want to wait until the cannon resets itself, till the animation is reset. And so I've created just a little bit of a check to do that. And here's where. I've created this JavaScript object up here called cannon, oh, oops, not that one, called cannon ready to play, okay? And then down in our interaction, in the um, uh, scene on pointer down, I've basically wrapped everything. Once we've determined a cannon has been selected, I've wrapped everything into a check to say, hey, is the name of the can canon root, the top parent that's been selected, is if the name of that is equal to one in this, in this JavaScript object, if it's ready to play, then set the status to zero, that it's not ready to play now, go ahead and do all of the things, and then check this out. In our animation group, I've added uh, an end observable, okay? So this is a thing that basically is a bit of code that will run once the animation is completed. And so once it's completed, I've basically said, okay, set that same exact uh, entry, that key value pair in the JavaScript object, set it back equal to one to indicate it's now ready to play again. And so now if I go in and I click a cannon multiple times, nothing. It has to wait until the animation is finished. And that solves that little experience bug. So that's it. That's how you can add sound effects super easily to your Babylon scene. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you've learned something from it. If you haven't already had a chance to do so, please consider subscribing so you don't get uh, miss any other videos that we put out. We put out content weekly on this channel. So uh, I hope you don't miss any future content. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for checking it out and I'll see you next time.